I, like everyone else, deal with problems. Whether it be socially or financially, we all deal with problems. And like all problems, they could be dealt with. And not just dealing with those problems is what makes it memorable. When you made that friend or got 100 on that test, those experiences are remembered and that is what makes us who we are. When you made that friend, people thought he was more kind and genuine. When you got 100 on that test, people thought he was more intelligent and capable. We make up our own perceptions that people cannot change. For me, it was my weight. All my life, I dealt with weight issues, always being overweight. But like all people, we care for our vanity, and I saw I needed to change. Lent 2018 was my opportunity to change. For 40 days, I caught out all unhealthy foods and drinks, and then I realized I can do more. So I did. 40 days turned to a 10-month-long journey during which I proved to myself and the world that I was able to lose 45 pounds and build the body that I wanted. For me, that was me changing my perception of myself, and I believe people saw me differently after everything was said and done. But life is like a roller coaster. You can get to a pinnacle point in your life, and it can all go downhill from there. Three years ago, I had everything. I had friends, grades, and a simple life. Until one day, a friend sent me a message saying that a lie was being sped up about me, and that he managed to convince all my friends to turn on me because of that lie. His lie became the truth. But the truth is, subject is subjective. We hear what we want to hear believe what we want to believe. My friends that day bought into the truth and mine had become lost. At the same time, my mother was diagnosed with breast cancer. She was in pain from, for the surgery and the after effects of chemotherapy for weeks on end. Some days it was so bad I couldn't even look at her without feeling that same pain. But, during that, but now that everything is over, I'm just so grateful for her to be alive. But during that time, I hit rock bottom. Friends left, grades slipped, mother dealing with one of the deadliest cancers to exist. What did I do to deal with this? I ran to video games, and I started playing them much more frequently than I ever did. After some time, I met some online friends, and we used to play games like Call of Duty or Overwatch because those were popular at the time. But after some time, my mother became concerned I wasn't going as much anymore, and I eventually had to tell her what had happened. I went through an emotional change. It wasn't about weight or clumsiness. It's how the world has evolved. This change started at the beginning of this school year. For me, I thought it was gonna be my year. I lost a lot of weight, I changed my personality, my mentality, and was motivated to live a better life. But that supposedly good life never came, because it was because of what was around me. I, finding a common passion with people was hard for me. Until one night, a man, Les Brown, said one thing I will never forget. He said, don't let others' opinion of you become your reality. When he said that, I finally understood that things that are supposed to be in the past are supposed to be in the past. What I dealt with finally went away. I felt at peace with myself that night. We live in a world where teenagers and people are soaked with technology. Social media plays to our vanity. Every like or post dictates our mood. If one person does not see your story or like your photo on Instagram, you can believe that the world's perception of us has suddenly changed. This can happen to you, me, or anyone for that matter. And this perception can contribute to how we perceive ourselves. We also believe that technology leads us to what we post. Teenagers post things to social media every day without thinking twice of the repercussions. A simple nod or a joke can be misinterpreted, and that kid's life can be ruined forever. People say that technology makes us more connected, yet alone. I couldn't agree more with that statement, because technology is not the aspiration we wanted but is the crutch of all of human potential. I don't want people to be afraid of who they are and what they can be. People's potential is locked behind a door of failure and rejection, which contributes to how people perceive them. People's perception can lead us to what we believe. People, but you will always be rejected because every no gets you a step closer to a yes. Because you will succeed, because success is built on failure, not success. Remember that, even a broken clock is right twice a day. Knowing that, I want you to imagine that you are on your deathbed, and around you are the ideas, the ghosts, the potential that you had, but you never went after. And now they're looking at you with eyes, and now they're mad at you because that they're saying that we came to you, and only you were the ones to give us life, and now we must die with you forever. This doesn't just apply to me, but to everyone. As a collective whole, we each have our own stories that makes us who we are. The same greatness I discovered within me that night can be found within all of you. 
because I changed my perception of myself, I stopped worrying about what other people thought of me. And I believe people saw me differently because of that. But you have that same, but you have that greatness that you must discover for yourselves. You can honor your family, your friends, your teachers, but you need to change that perception of yourself. Because like all things, that change is possible. Thank you.